Now we're going to be looking at Chapter 8, Lesson 2, which is Problem Solving, Use Multiplication. Um, this one will be all focused on word problems. And so every time we see a word problem, I kind of want you to revert back to part, part, whole. And the great part about the part, part, whole method is it's something that you're familiar with even when we're using the old program, such as Envision, where the whole goes on top, the total, and the other parts are... Um, the pieces that make up the whole. So let's read this. Sebastian is the name. Sebastian bakes four pies and cuts each piece into six. How many one six pie slices does he have? So if we're doing the part part whole, the total goes on top. Do we know a total? We know that there's a total of four pies all together. And so the total goes on top four pies total. Now, what is he doing? He's cutting each pie into six. So, one box represents um, one slice. How big is that one slice? It's one six, because he cut them into six. How big is the next slice? One six. How big is the next slice? One six. But do you know how many slices there are? No. So this is a slice. This is a slice. This is a slice. Here we have a total four, and we have one six, one six, one six, one six, but we don't know how many one six there are. There are different ways we could do this. Since we know the total, we could do four minus one six, minus one six, minus one six, minus one six until we get to zero. Or what is repeated subtraction? It's division. Four divided by one six. So for all of these word problems, I want you to draw a, um, a part part whole diagram with the picture boxes and then write your equation out. Do notice that this is where your total always goes. And if you notice here, this is your total or your dividend, right? So four divided by one six. Once you get this equation, this particular lesson isn't really asking for the number lines and the fraction strips. So we don't have to worry so much in that essence. What we do need to worry and rely on is using multiplication. So if we're to draw um, a quick diagram of this, like they did in the answer key. We have four holes, one whole slice of pie, two slices of pie, uh, not slice, one whole pie, two whole pie, three whole pie, four whole pies. So one, two, three, four pies, four pies. He's gonna cut each of them into six and to draw six, you'll draw a line and an X. You'll draw a line down the middle, then an X. You'll draw a line down the middle, then an X. You'll draw a line down the middle, and then an X. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six. He cut them into six. Now, if you're to count how many six there are, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six pieces here, six slices here. How many one six are here? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six slices of one six, six one six slices. And if it, if it makes sense because we split them into six, and six over six is one whole. There's gonna be six slices here, six slices here. One sixth, one sixth, one sixth, one sixth, one sixth, one sixth. Six slices here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six slices. So, 
When we're doing 4 divided by 1 sixth and we're taking one piece at a time, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What we're doing in essence is we're doing 4 times 6 because we're repeating 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Repeating 6 four times. So, what you could say is that the division 4 divided by 1, 6 is the same as saying 4 times 6. 4 times 6 is 24 pieces. Now remember, these are 24 slices or pieces. I'll put slices because they said slices of 1 6. So how many 1 6 pie slices there are? There are 24 slices of 1 6 um, sizes, pie slices. There are 24 pieces of 1 6 pie slices. Anyways, keep in mind that this thing is specifically looking for the link to multiplication. So what we're going to be doing is changing the division statements into multiplication. Remember when I keep saying that Ms. Tolentino didn't really learn it this way? If you ask any of your grown-ups, they might be more familiar with 4 divided by 1, 6, we're going to find the reciprocal of the second number. So here's our second number, and the reciprocal is if you're to flip the numerator and the denominator. So instead of doing 4 divided by 1, 6, you'll do 4 times the reciprocal of the second number. So instead of it being 1 over 6, it'll be 6 over 1, which is the same as 6. So it's 4 times 6. Now, if you were to ask a grown-up, they're more familiar with saying, instead of doing division, change the division to multiplication and find the reciprocal of the second number. The reciprocal is when you change the numerator and the denominator. So it'd be four times six. That's exactly what we're doing when your grown-up says, oh, all you have to do is change the division to multiplication and find the reciprocal of the second number. They are correct and this is why. Now what I want you to make sure you do, um, if you do talk to your grown-up and they teach you this method, is to explain to them why using these pictures. So this focus of this lesson is going to be giving a word problem. I want to see the part, part, whole box. I want to see a quick figure and then the division becoming the multiplication and then find your answer. So those are quite a few steps. Let's do number two together and see those steps play out. The first thing we're gonna start off with is our part, part, whole that we've been doing ever since we were in first grade. Or you should be if um, you've been in Woodlake. Let me use the other side of this paper. Allie is typically a girl's name. Uh, let's see if there's a she here. Yeah, there's a she. Allie has two vegetable pizzas that she cuts into eights. How many one-eighth size pieces does she have? So again, we're going to start with a part, part, whole. Do we know a total? There are two total vegetable pizzas. That is our total. So we have two total pizzas. Now, what are we doing with those pizzas? We're cutting it into eighths. So we're cutting it into smaller sizes. So the first slice is one eighth. And that's slice one. Your second one is going to be one eighth. And that's slice two. Your next one is going to be one eighth. We want them all equal. We don't know how many eighths we have. Slice three. This is slice question mark. So we could do two is the total pizza, minus one eighth, minus one eighth, minus one eighth, minus one eighth. 
until you have no more pizzas, no more slices left. Or you could do 2 divided by 1 eighth because subtracting 1 eighth is the same as repeated subtraction is division. Keep in mind that your 2 is always on top, and I mean your total is always on top, and 2 is your dividend. The dividend is your total. 2 divided by 1 eighth. Now, if you were to ask a grown up, they will straight up tell you that you could do 2 divided by 1 eighth, change the division to multiplication, and find the reciprocal of the second number. You always leave the first number as it is. The second number, instead of it being 1 over 8, you're going to flip the numerator and the denominator, so it'll be 8 over 1. So your grown up will tell you you could just do 2 times 8. 8 over 1 is the same as 8. This works. They are correct. 2 and 1 8 is the same as 2 times 8. But let's look at the picture. So after we made our part part whole blocks, we changed the division statement into multiplication statement. And we know how to do 2 times 8. 2 times 8, that's easy peasy, Ms. Solentino. That's 16. So our answer is going to be 16 pieces or slices. I think they're saying pieces here. Um, of 1 8 sizes. But here's the trick. This works because you have two holes, and in each hole, you're splitting into eights. To split it into eights, you're going to do an X and a plus sign. Actually, I'm going to start with the plus sign this time. You're going to do a plus sign and an X. Okay, and that'll give you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So a plus sign and an X. Now look here. 1 8. 1 8. 1 8. 1 8. 1 8. 1 8. 1 8. 1 8. If you want to have a hole, there better be 8 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So you have 8 slices here. 8 pieces here. 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight. You have eight slices or pieces here. I'm going to use slices and pieces kind of interchangeably. Eight slices or pieces. So if you want to know how many one eights you have, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Or in other words, eight plus eight or eight times two. Sixteen. So, step one, read through the equation and create a part part whole diagram. From there, create your division statement. Your total or your dividend goes first, and then you divide by your divisor. From there, change this into a multiplication equation. And what the adults will tell you is the division changes to multiplication and find the reciprocal. So instead of it being 1 over 8, it's 8 over 1. 2 times 8 over 1, 8 over 1 is 8. Why does that work? Because of this picture. You're repeating 8 two times. One time, two times, 8, 8. I hope that this helps you. It's actually a lot more um, broken down and easier than yesterday's lesson, which kind of focused more on number lines and... Um, fraction strips. So this one kind of breaks it down for you and it's showing you a quicker method. So instead of doing repeated subtraction, instead of doing the division, you could change the division into a multiplication problem. And soon that's what we're going to be doing. We're not going to be drawing pictures, or at least not these pictures. We'll still do if it's a word problem, the part part whole. But we're not going to have to use fraction strips. We're not going to have to use um, What's the other one that we use? Number lines. Instead, we could just be doing changing the division to multiplication and finding the reciprocal of the second number. But Common Core doesn't want you to just jump into it. They want you to understand why that works. 
So hopefully that this kind of breaks down why you could do the multiplication problem. And good luck. Let me know if you have any questions.